all right so we did talk about uh, what are notebooks into azure data bricks we ran some of the sample queries we understood how you could just run uh, your spark applications spark queries and just see how it kind of works we saw how you could just run the shell command and use the notebook md to highlight or document your um, azure data breaks notebook documentation you could just use the schedule and comment features uh, as well and collaborate with the folks working within the same team in this video we're gonna get started with um, notebook initialization script initialization script as the name suggests it runs during the first uh, or during the startup of your cluster so whenever your cluster gets startup or rebooted those inet script would be run those initialization script could be anything could be as simple as installing some of the packages and they could be handled only when you're starting up a cluster they cannot they run before the cluster exists so you need to have them once the cluster is created or restarted you want those initialization script to be executed these could be shell script uh, and underneath that shell script you could just use any of your uh, packages libraries to be installed so there are two ways of installing one way is installing only on one cluster and one of them is globally installing on all of the cluster uh, also you would notice that the cluster is now turned off because it was idle for 10 minutes and that's why it is now again um, turned off now if you try to run any query um, you would see that the cluster is not running hence it would actually not run and ask you to start the cluster so that was about the cluster being rammed down so if i go to the admin console you see something called as global inet script and over here you could just write all your script and test it as well and just um, initiate them so i'm gonna run a library script which i already have written right over here this would install certain pip packages likes of Azure Service Bus, Application Insights uh, as well. Um, you just can decide when do you want, want to run this uh, particular initialization script. I'm going to enable this and add the INET script. And if I go to the cluster, you go to restart the cluster if you want them to be executed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the cluster and um, this is going to start installing all the INET scripts so if you go to the event log you would see that logs are now captured started by the user and we would have the INET script coming up over here as well all right so the script is finished running now so if you could just see over here that the library script INET script was run and it was uh, run ran successfully um, now if you could just go to your one of the notebooks which we created right over here we could just use the pip command um, pip list and this would just give you all the list and you could just see that um, all of these libraries which you mentioned like so application insights um, azure service bus are installed as well not that you cannot run those uh, libraries manually um, you could just do it install it right from your spark notebook as well insights and with a version and you could just run right from here as well since this is already installed uh, not going to be um, a time consuming task but that's been done um, so that's been done now you could just go to your inet script again so these inet scripts global inet script are recommended wherein you want uniformity across all of the clusters um, now there are could be some cases where you just want uh, want some of the clusters to have those inet scripts maybe the packages or the libraries uh, in those cases we would urge you to install only on certain use the local packages uh, the local uh, inet script because that's what gonna be needed in those cases so that's gonna be a data dog script so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna yeah the, uh, just 
gonna put a bogus uh, application key uh, what I'm doing is installing a data dog agent and that's agent gonna be not gonna be installed obviously that's gonna run out of uh, um, the error because we don't have the app key but just to showcase if you want to install a datadog agent on all of the clusters remember we talk about that you could just use the datadog agent for monitoring purpose as well so this would install an agent on all of your clusters and all of your clusters would be sending start sending the agent um, information to your datadog cluster so I'm gonna enable this and um, in order to run this you would need to go to the cluster and restart your cluster again so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do going to restart the cluster so that it start taking the changes all right now the cluster is running uh, with the inert script being executed the first one was the library which was succeeded and the second one was data dog obviously that one also succeeded um, if you go back to our notebook uh, if you and if we try to get the status of our data breaks uh, data dog agent status we should be getting a failed uh, error status of the agent because we provided a false um, api key um, uh, but the all the purpose is that it's going to tell you that there is an installation happened however uh, the agent is not running had it been the right key uh, it would have given given you so let's try to see the data dog agent status data dog hyphen agent and then the status it should give you that okay unable to get the configuration because it did not find the expected alphabetic or numeric character and that's why it was not able to fetch the status of the agent but the data dog agent is now up and running uh, if you just want to verify this if you go to the cluster again and uh, just restart the cluster and before that if you just go to the admin console and remove all of your libraries or rather the inert script and run your cluster again um, you should not see all of those uh, libraries and the data dog agent on your cluster all right so the cluster is now reran and uh, we couldn't find any of the inert script because we disabled both of them now if you go back to our notebook and just start running the same um, data dog agent status again we shouldn't find that the, the command doesn't find because the data dog agent doesn't exist anymore also if you could just use the pip list command um, right over here if you just run it you would see that it has got the by default libraries installed however the one which we installed using our um, inet script are now missing likes of application inside azure common azure service bus uh, you wouldn't find right them over here all right so that's the use of um, the inet script remember you've got the global and the local inet cluster based inet script a uh, recommendation is to use the cluster uh, base uh, so that you could have just uh, the libraries the inet scripts running on your cluster clusters however if you want to keep the uniformity we would recommend you to using use the global inet script just like we did in this session i hope this was informative thank you